Number 38. How will an increase in temperature affect each of the following equilibria, and how will a decrease in the volume of the reaction vessel affect each? Then we have letter D out of the bunch. So the first thing is, is I'm just going to write this a little bit bigger just so that we can work with it. So I got calcium oxide, CaO, that's a solid, plus CO2, that's a gas, carbon dioxide. This comes to equilibrium. There's a double arrow with calcium carbonate, and that's a solid. Okay, maybe I'll just make this a little bit better. Beautiful. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do, especially if they give me a delta H value, I basically don't care about this. The only thing that I really care about is where the heat is. Is the heat on the reactant side or the product side? Well, that actually comes from the negative value. Now, do I really care that it's negative 176? No, it could have been literally any negative number. Remember, when we did, you know, enthalpy way, way back, right? A negative 176, a negative value, just means that this is exothermic. And exothermic reactions, you release the heat. So when you have an exothermic reaction, the heat will always be on the product side. So I'm just going to say plus heat on my product side over here. Once I do that, then I say I don't care about this anymore. I have all the information I need, and I can answer any Le Chatelier principle question that comes to me. In this case, we just have two of them. We're going to increase the temp and decrease the volume. So let's increase the temp first. What's going to happen? So here's the information behind raising the temp. It's kind of like what maybe you would do in real life, right? If the temp is getting way too hot, right? If you increase the temperature, it's way too hot. Me personally, if it's way too hot, I'm going inside. I am not staying outside. That's just me though. So I'm shifting away from the heat. And that's the same thing that chemical equilibria do. So they shift away from the heat, literally the word heat. That's why it's, you know, super helpful to write the word heat down here. You're going to shift away from the heat. So I'm not going to go towards it. I'm going away from it. So that's the arrow. I'm shifting to the left. So I'm going to shift left. And what that means is that basically, if I'm going this way, you know, uh, these will increase. And actually, this would not even change. But the idea is that if you had gases on this side, they will increase. And if you have gases on the reactant, they will decrease. But that's all that the question asked for. They just wanted to say what the effect was you're shifting to the left. Now, we're going to drop the volume. Okay, what's going to happen? Well, volume is just talking about the space, literally the space that these molecules are existing in inside this reaction vessel. If you're lowering the volume, you have less space, right? So it makes sense that you would want to be with the side that has less moles. Literally, the less moles, the less space you need. So we just have to calculate the moles that are in this equation. But remember, it's only the moles of the gas that we care about. So here's a solid, bye-bye, I don't care about this one. So you could put like a big X through this. And here's a solid, bye-bye. We only care about this one, right? This is the gas. I see that there's no number in front, so that just means that there's one of them. So I have one mole of gas on my uh, reactant side, and I literally have no moles of gas on my product side. So I'm just gonna put a zero. And if you decrease the volume, you shift to the less moles of gas side. Which number is lower? Zero. So I'm going to be going towards that lower number. So in this case, I will shift to the opposite side. And there you go. So I'll shift right. And that is your final answer. Okay. Guys, what'd you think? Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. That will really help us out. And tell your friends, tell your classmates that this, you know, uh, cool YouTube channel exists. Just getting the word out there that, you know, there is educational content that, you know, may be really helpful. So thank you so much. I will see you all in later lessons. Bye-bye.